In section 5.1, we'll be talking about quadratic functions. Um, in this figure, you can see that there's an array of satellite dishes. Now, curved antennas, such as the ones that you see in this picture, are commonly used to focus microwaves and radio waves to transmit television and telephone signals, as well as satellite and spacecraft communication. The cross-section of the antenna is in the shape of a parabola, which can be described by a quadratic function. In this section, we will investigate quadratic functions, which frequently model problems involving area and projectile motion. Working with quadratic functions can be less complex than working with higher degree functions, so they can provide a good opportunity for detailed study of function behavior. Now, the one thing we want to be able to do is to be able to recognize characteristics of parabolas. The graph of a quadratic function is a U-shaped curve called a parabola. One important feature of the graph is that it has an extreme point called the vertex. And so down here in this particular parabola, down here is what we call the vertex. Now, if the parabola opens up, then the vertex represents the lowest point on the graph, or the minimum value of the quadratic function. If the parabola opens down, then the vertex represents the highest point on the graph, or the maximum value. In either case, the vertex is considered the turning point on the graph. So what that means is if you start here on the left and then you go down and then you hit the vertex, now it turns to go back up. Now the graph is also symmetric with a vertical line drawn through the vertex. So here you have the axis to symmetry. So that is the vertical line. And it's also called the axis of symmetry. And you can see that these are the features. So you also have where this parabola crosses the x-axis. So in this scenario, we have two x-intercepts. And then we also have a y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. Now, the y-intercept is the point at which the parabola crosses the y-axis. And again, the x-intercepts are the points at which the parabola crosses the x-axis. And if they exist, the x represents the zeros or roots of the quadratic function the values of x at which y is equal to 0.